Hey guys, what is up? So today we are at Brinton's Park. We actually filmed this video last week, but I'm not too happy with how the footage came out, so we're redoing it and there's a daddy long legs on the floor underneath my camera. So uh, today we are doing steel wool photography. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, you will have seen photos that we've already done and edited. And today we are going to show you how to create those photos for yourself. So what you will need is some of this zero grade steel wool. A standard kitchen whisk. Just nick your mum's one out of her kitchen. She won't mind. Just You might not want to use it again after because it's going to get a bit burnt. A dog lead, or if you've not got a dog or you don't want to go and spend money on a dog lead, you can use some rope or some string or something. A lighter of your choosing. But if not, you can use some matches. And the or, last thing... Or a 9 well, volt battery. Or a 9 volt battery. That does work too, but we haven't got one of those with us today. And last of all, you will need a camera, preferably a DSLR that has bulb mode and a shutter switch. We are using the one by Niwa that came with my flash. It's the Niwa FC16 2.4 gigahertz. So, uh, let's get let's get straight into this. So, with the steel wool, we don't we aren't going to need all of this for one shot. So, I'm going to take about a third of it and just it should just rip off fairly easily and then we'll put that bit just back in the packet for later. So what I like to do, I like to fluff out the steel wool a bit so the air gets into it so when it's burning it, I find it lasts that little bit longer and you don't get a massive just clump of molten metal in the bottom. So I like to fluff it out a bit, just like that. And then this goes into the whisk. Fluff it out a bit there, make sure that's nice and full. And then I just push this bit of metal. I don't think all whisks have this, but as does, I find that this works best to have a smaller cage around the wall so it doesn't bounce about too much. And then just slide the handle up to keep that tight. And then obviously you're going to want to attach the dog lead to the whisk. And then you're about set and ready to go. So let's do the first shot. I almost forgot to go to the settings. So we've got the camera in manual and we're going to be shooting, we aren't going to be shooting on bulb, we tend to go for around 10 seconds, 10 to 15 seconds, so let's get, let's say 13, and you're going to want quite a wide open aperture, so we're going to shoot in an aperture of 3.5, which is what the Canon kit lens goes down to, and the ISO will put on 200, so it's not too dark, but not too bright. So we're going to go and set up the camera way over there and get the first shot No, I don't think I turned it on. Stop! Flash camera! Okay, so we've probably just got that really nice B-roll shot of the um, of the steel wall, but uh, I forgot to turn the shutter switch on, on the camera, so Cam's clicked the button and it's not actually taken a photo, so um, we need to do that again. So I've set the shutter switch up now, we've tested it to make sure it's all it's all working. Uh, it was my fault. I hadn't uh, put the settings right, so it didn't. It didn't take the shot, which was my bad. These things happen. This is why we've got two packs of steel wool. So let's let's get the next lot loaded up then. Take two. Oh, 
I was gonna say I was spinning it for more than 13 seconds. I was thinking, what the fuck? Oh wow, it's killing! Alright, so the camera actually took the photo this time. We're not actually checking them until the end so you can see our reaction to how the photos look. So currently, we have no idea how that looks. So, uh, shall I? Hey guys. I think you were going to say something. No, I just want to say hey. Oh. Typical cam. Alright, give me the photo. Alright, we're going to move the camera a bit closer so we get the, the sparks going really into the camera. Uh, which I had a photo like that on my Instagram, which is this photo right here. And yeah, we're, we're going we're gonna to do that one again. And then we're going to do one through a glass ball that I've got. So that should, that should be fun. So uh, yeah, let's, let's get ready for the next one. Where's my lighter? Where's my lighter? Come on then, you ready? Yeah. Uh, right guys, so we're going to have a look at the photos that we've got so far and then we're going to do one with a glass ball. I'm going to put the photos kind of here-ish for you to see. So uh, let's start with, I don't want to see it yet, start with the <laughs> first one. So right, okay, this is the one that we did with the whisk. These Dog just, lead, uh, steel wool, lighters, test shot. So we've got three steel wool photos on here. So let's have a look at the first one. This is the first one that I did. Uh, after we got the switch working. <laughs> wow. I really like that. That is nice. That's really nice. I love that the bit at the top. I love that the whole background's orange. I'll edit that. Oh yeah, definitely. But I love the sparks as well. It's yeah. Off it. It's really nice. I do feel like we were using a bit too much steel wool. Uh, we did use less on the last one, I forgot to mention. Um, I feel like we used a bit too much wool on this one. So, um, yeah, so, it, so it, it's the next a bit, one. It's a bit too bright, isn't it? Yeah. So. The next one was portrait, and it was closer to the camera. Wow. That's that's the one that bounced off the lens. I'm pretty sure. Oh wow. I love that. It's a little bit out of focus, I think. Zoom it. In. Can you zoom, zoom it in on the camera? Yeah, I do. I feel like that's a. It's a it's little, a little bit, bit. It's a little bit out of focus. But that is nice, though. But yeah. To a point, it doesn't need to be but in if, focus. If someone's much. looking on on their phone, it's still gonna look. Really, really decent on that. Yeah, I actually think the focus is, is on the bits that came right close to the lens. Yeah, which yeah. is actually quite nice, to be honest. I was in manual focus, that was my bad. I should have focused it a bit further back. But uh, overall, it is quite a nice shot. Again, we can recreate it. And we did yeah. another one that was close to the camera, which is this next one. Wow. I like that. I like that you've gone for a bigger circle on it, and you were sat, you were kind of squatting for this one. Uh, I do, I, I really like how that one turned out, how you've got all these sparks coming towards. I feel like it's a bit too busy. Yeah, it is, but I, I quite like that. I, mm. I don't know what, what you guys think. Comment down below. Like, yeah, I, comment I, down I, below about what you think about all, all three of these. I personally like the first one. I like the first uh, one. I, mm, I feel like the last two, because we don't usually do them in portrait and the focus was off on that one. I feel like the first one was the best. First one was the best one, but I think the second one for me is the, third, the last one that's me. Yeah. I actually quite like that, even though it is a little bit too busy, but it is really, really nice. It's just one of those nice, busy scenes that you get. Yep. It's really nice. All right, so we're going to do one more with a glass ball that I need to get out of my bag, and we are going to do the steel wall over in the field, uh, like in the park. And it's um, stopped raining. And it has stopped raining. That's great. It was just starting to rain a little bit, but thank, thank God it's not <laughs> carried on. So this right here is the first of the three shots with the glass ball that we did. Um, I really like this. We were we were both really shocked at how well it turned out. Um, what I don't like, you can see kind of in the middle uh, around here, it's slightly out of focus, which I'm not too happy with. And we'd left a light on, so we've got like a slight flare just here as well, which I don't know, I might Photoshop that out, I might leave it in, I don't know. Uh, this one was completely blown out. There was a, a light on in the background that neither of us noticed at the time. And um, yeah, so I'm not too happy with that one at all because it's just, it, it's too bright, but yeah. And then we did the last one, which is just here. This is my favorite one of the three, because you can see how the sparks have hit at the bottom. But this photo is meant to be flipped upside down, but obviously because we mounted the camera upside down, on the tripod, that's how it turned out, and that's personally how I'd edit it as well, so it's upside down. So I'm probably gonna throw a quick like colour edit, maybe up the level, well play around the levels and the curves a little bit. In fact, I'll do that quickly now. 
I'll leave that. I'll probably drop the shadows and bring up the mid slightly. I don't do a lot of editing. I literally do small, tiny changes on my photos and then curves. I like to have all of my photos slightly underexposed. I think they look slightly nicer. So it gives me a bit like that. You can now see the envelope like fully on the screen. So that's that's how it's gonna look. And then I'll maybe throw a quick like colour change onto that as well. And leave it at that. So yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, please. Uh, if you try these steel wool photos, uh, send them to me on Instagram, tag me on Instagram, and I'll check them out because I, I'd love to see what you guys are doing from this video. So thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and stay tuned for the next one. We do weekly videos on Sundays unless we're having trouble getting a video out, but they're usually on Sundays at 10.30am. So stay tuned for that and I'll see you in the next one. But until then, keep shooting. Peace.